Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today, EA is making FC24 free to download. And to all of us who already play, we're going to notice the difference. I want to break down what I mean by that and how some people are going to make a lot of coins based off of today's changes to this game. Now also, we have to look forward to more TOTS content, including a weekly TOTS upgrade SBC, a guaranteed TOTS pack SBC coming back today, which would probably include all the Bundesliga cards, women's team of the seasons, and Ronaldo Tots in this pack. There's a chance. You're telling me there's a chance. Let's get into it, guys, and break it all down. If you're excited for it today, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. First of all, servers, I got to touch on this because EA said that the servers and the disconnects were over, but the game just seems to be like broken in a way at the moment. I got a disconnect in my first game of Foot Champs yesterday. EA servers are having some sort of problems. People can't log into the web app or the companion app. I don't know if it's happening to you guys, but it's been happening to a lot of people. What has happened to this game and the server since Team of the Season started? It has been pretty scuffed let's just be honest but let's get into yesterday's content and kind of talk through that um, alongside of the server issues right we had the 80 plus player pick as expected guys yesterday's content was actually a very slow day but that was kind of expected after we had a very busy day two days ago on Sunday 80 plus player pick exact same one I was maybe hoping they would release a one of four instead of a one of three it's about time we graduated up to a higher level of player pick we've had this 80 plus and 81 plus rotation for ages this is the best player pick that is in the game right now do it craft into it use it right that's the one to get fodder and to be crafting through we also have the 83 plus player pick i did three of these yesterday i don't think i'll do any more guys this player pick is just not it the 85 plus was so clear of this i know this one only requires common golds and a couple of rares it is so not worth doing just hit the 80 plus player picks more times with the rare cards and the commons that you put into this the 80 plus is clear just craft and use that all day long to get the SBCs done that you want to do. Now, we also had marquee matchups from the UEFA side of things because we have Champions League today. Once again, the second leg, third playstyle upgrades on the line for those guys today and tomorrow. Um, and it's a decent pack. It's pretty easy to get done. I do believe common golds from Dortmund were selling. So maybe check your club if you have any of those tradable. You do get a mega pack from that. So that is worth at least a shout. And then we had a simple player SBC yesterday as well for Bull from the Fraun Bundesliga. She is a left mid with finesse, first touch, and flair plus. I mean, talk about flair plus being basically the worth, most worthless and useless playstyle plus in the game. I just think this SBC doesn't appeal to too many people. The playstyle plus of finesse isn't bad. The card doesn't look terrible. It's 120,000 coins. I just don't feel like unless you're a Bayern supporter, this SBC probably isn't interesting to many people on the game. But if you want to get it done, it is a decent card. So we'll leave it at that. That is yesterday's content, guys. That's it. I feel like we just covered it in like three minutes. Like it was not a lot going on yesterday. Now, luckily for me, I knew that I was going to be opening a store pack yesterday. We talked about it in the video. And uh, just a quick rundown, I was able to finally hit something big. Now, I am not endorsing store packs at all. Not advertising for you guys to open those. I have been trading, building up a lot of coins to have fun during this time of the year, right? And yesterday, we actually hit something good. From the 725k pack, which is the Bundesliga trio, I got... Ta and Cobell, which we funnily named yesterday on the stream as the Taco Bell pack, because if you're opening any of these store packs, it's like Ta and Cobell are always the walkouts every single time. It's like Watkins and Allison from last week. But in behind that was Mares. I was very excited to get him. His technical plus is insane. He has some crazy jam, and he has pink boots in game. So it's pretty cool uh, that we were able to get Mares. That's uh, my second best pack pull of team of the season. First best would definitely be Sunny. Second best would be this Mares. So I'm really excited to keep using him. This is the Foot Champ squad that we are running with at the moment. Now, that's just a quick update for me. I know a lot of you guys are crafting and upgrading SBCs and maybe just taking the week off as well at the same time. I completely understand if you're doing that because the pack weight does seem to be pretty mid now one thing we've been asking for that was kind of roped in with yesterday's content was price range updates guys they actually happened openda stanway pajor pop all got price range updates you can see on footbit on this page here with the newest price range updates on the game they all got the range updates actually goretzka who was extinct 
is actually lower than what his uh, original price he was extinct at 1.9 million his price didn't update at all but the other four cards which would be openda stanway pajor and pop are now all on the market openda was extinct at 550k and that's kind of where he is like 550,000 coins after this price range update stanway was extinct at 290 she did end up being around 500k where she is right now a lot of people who snipe these cards and try to invest in them are selling them off i think pop might have been like the biggest profit i mean she was i don't even know what she was extinct at but she's right now around 2 million coins this card looks insane regardless whether you snipe these cards or whether you didn't it is just finally nice to have them on the market for a team of the season cards that a lot of us wanted to try stanway especially for only four or 500k for a nine golden gang card that is crazy what an item right watch these cards for fluctuations today they will be moving on the market as i mentioned earlier there was going to be a time if you were on and you saw these price ranges get updated stanway was under 500,000 coins for like 10 to 15 minutes she was like 450k as people saw the price range updates they were spam selling and now she's back up to 530 she could go higher but i would imagine today these bundesliga tots cards openda stanway pajor pop and then the whole entire rest of the team we are going to be watching them very closely for potential investment opportunities some point today on tuesday into tomorrow and wednesday so i just want to put that in your minds and put that out there because yesterday as well the bundesliga toss cards almost all of them dropped upamakano's 800k i picked up a couple of royce at low 600 sold them for 700 but he's still low 600s musiala is low boniface is 137,000 coins he was 170 yesterday. He is down bad. Slaughterback's 290. Javi Simons is 265. This whole team is down in price. And I have to imagine they're probably going to drop a little bit lower today with the content and everything else that is going on. So that is kind of the news of the, the market. We'll talk more about that later in the video. Last thing from yesterday that was news is EA tweeted. I don't think anybody expected this. EA tweeted yesterday, with Team of the Season campaign ongoing in Ultimate Team, Team of the Week, which has been paused for weeks, and Player of the Month player items will no longer be added to FC24. Player of the Month voting and shared results will continue for the remainder of the real world season. Basically what they're saying is, they'll have Player of the Month voting, they'll have all of the assets, all of the tweets about Player of the Month, who should win, who's in the voting, all this stuff, and even the awards being given out. But they're not going to actually drop SBCs in this game, which is very unfortunate because we had a League One Player of the Month that came out voting-wise yesterday, and Usman Dembele was in it. That could have been a sick SBC. Think about all the Prem Player of the Months that will happen from now, or at least the, le the next award of Prem Player of the Month from the month of April and the month of May as the season comes to a close that we would have had. It's a little unfortunate, honestly. Like, what's what is stopping them from just releasing player of the month cards that would be cool even if they're kind of cheap and like not the most meta and crazy like why not like i don't know i don't know why they're not doing that but hey they have their reasons i guess it's not worth their time or something no more player of the months and no more new team of the weeks for the rest of fc24 is basically what that means right there so i wanted to point that out because a lot of people uh i think are upset about that which rightly so like why just not release player of the months feels a little bit lazy there could be some sick play of the month cards they release right now. But nevertheless, that is not happening anymore. Let's get into the meat and potatoes of what we want to talk about today. That is the FC24 being released for free. Guys, if you did not know this, EA tweeted about this last week, literally a week ago. They said, jump into the world game. PlayStation Plus members can play FC24 at no additional cost starting May 7th and get a PlayStation Plus starter pack, which we will talk about here in a second. So this, the PlayStation Plus games of the month, right? Every single month, if you're on PlayStation, you get free games. This is big. This is huge. Like this game has been out since what? The late September. So what are we on now? We're on like seven, eight months, seven and a half months of this game being released. And it is now free to everybody on PlayStation. A ton of new players are going to be getting on this game, guys. And you're like, Nate, why does this matter to us? Well, a lot of us have been playing this game for a long time. Guys, it's going to impact the market for sure. There's even multiple people in the Twitch stream yesterday when we were live talking about this game saying, hey, I'm going to download the game tomorrow because it's free. Haven't played all year. I'm going to jump back in and just give it a try because it's free, right? And that's going to be a lot of people. That's going to do a couple of things. First of all, 
If you know a friend that wants to try it, I want to show you how to download it really fast. This is not a hashtag ad. I'm just trying to be helpful. If you have PlayStation Plus, you go over here to PlayStation Plus, little icon all the way on the left. It'll be down here, I believe, in monthly games. Boom. And that's where it'll be. Pretty easy to download. I think the game's like a good amount of size, though. So make sure you have your uh, internet, everything else turned off so you can download the game pretty fast. But uh, tell a friend if they want to get the game, you know, that sort of thing. But the ways it's going to impact the game with a whole bunch of new players coming on the game is similar to how it worked during Christmas time. If you think back to then, how the game changed. First of all, it's going to make prices rise on starter team players, especially those that are the most recent promos, that are the most hype cards, probably three playstyle plus cards, and especially some of these cheaper team of the seasons, maybe some Golazo cards. That's the stuff that you're going to see the most movement on. We've been talking about it, right? McAllister is a card that I think could rise. Maybe he drops a little bit today with that guaranteed tots pack. Technically, he could be packable in that one, right? Now, all these cards, these prem tots, they have gone up a lot already. Like McAllister, I think it was 60K. Ben White is like 80-something thousand coins, and he was uh, 50K at the end of Premier League team of the season, and now he's 81,000 coins. They could still go higher because these are the cards that people with not a lot of coins are going to come onto the game and start to want to get in their teams when they start to build up the coins. That is one thing I will mention is that starter team players, those cheaper cards from the most recent promos, will start to rise. Again, this is only Xbox and PlayStation market. PC market shouldn't have as much of an inflation on this because the new players aren't coming to the game. But the flip side of this is it's going to bring more players onto the game for gameplay. So maybe your matchmaking becomes a little bit easier since the pool of players is going to be larger. But I also think this happens every single year around Christmas as well and the start of the brand new year is it makes gameplay worse. It overloads the servers a bit more because there's a whole lot more people getting on the game and it's going to make gameplay more laggy. Hopefully the menus don't get more laggy because they have been really bad. Maybe some of this server outage and mess up and something has been related to like EA getting the servers ready for like new people come on the game. But I'm not expecting that. Guys, I just expect gameplay to be even more mudded and even more frustrating. And uh, if it's not changed and if it's the same then we'll count that as a W. But I'm just trying to prepare you because that's what happens every single year when a bunch more players come onto the game during that middle stage of the year, Christmas time, early New Year stage, when the game is usually discounted and people get it, the game during the holidays. So that's one thing how it's going to actually impact the game today, right? And going on this next week and this next month because it's out for a month, right? But there is one thing we already mentioned that I want to look at is the free PlayStation Plus starter pack. And I think as long as you have PlayStation Plus, I think everybody on PlayStation is getting this pack. I hope it's not only for the new members. I think it's everybody, guys. Um... I believe it's everybody because if you have PlayStation Plus, I think you're going to get this pack. And I think it will be given out today since today is the game, the day when the game is going to be pushed live for everybody. This is a decent pack. Come on now. And 82 times 11 for free. Sign me up with a guaranteed two of them to be rated 86 or above. So it's an 86 double walkout pack animation with an 82 times 11 um, as the full pack. Also one base icon pick for seven matches, whatever. But an 82 11 with two 86 pluses, that's not bad. So I'm thinking we're going to get two uh, packs today with like an 87, an 86, a couple 83s, and the rest 82s. But that's a free team of the week player pick and then maybe some high rated fodder for exchanges. That is not too bad, right? We take those. I think that's actually going to make fodder on the market probably go up even more. And that was one thing that we mentioned yesterday. And one thing that I mentioned on the stream yesterday as well is that I think fodder, I mean, not to say that it's going to be investable. Wow, 88s are down 9.1K. Wow, these really went down yesterday. Um, goodness me, they were 11,000 coins and they really went down. Maybe some of this stuff goes back up a little bit. I think 85s could even go higher, which could push 86s even higher uh, because people want to do the 86 double pack, which is still terrible. I finally got a blue from an 86 double yesterday, but it was literally just, just a fodder blue. I'm still going to do the 86 double every single day because it's team of the season and you never know. And the menu uh, grind and craft is still insane. But uh, these packs are terrible. But a lot of people are going to want to do them. And the one SBC requires two 85s. And I think that's why 85s could continue to rise. So I'm not investing there. I'm just saying I think that is what is going to happen when EA give out fodder to everybody. And especially people who are playing the game for the first time get it. They're going to want to go put it into a pack most likely like this. Now, that's I think how this free game aspect is going to impact this game. Let's talk about more Tuesday content. SBCs we can expect today. This one. Remember last week we had this for the first time, the weekly TOTS 
upgrade and there was a pack that was updated right before this pack came out this SBC came out to include any team of the season player from live tots up until what we are currently in with team of the season right now and last week that was Premier League and the Women's Super League this week I think it's going to be upgraded whether that pack code has been upgraded or already or not I haven't really looked, dove into the pack code once again to see but this should be any team of the season from live prem or sorry live tots through prem including the Women's Super League and mixed league team number one up to today with the women's Bundesliga the men's Bundesliga and mixed league two with Ronaldo I think everything would be in this SBC I think they're just going to refresh the SBC like I know it's expiring but that's because they have to put out a new pack they can't just refresh it because the pack has to change I believe that's what's going to happen it was an 83 and an 86 rated squad with the team of the season the last time around so maybe just make sure that you have a fodder tots in the club that you can put into this and maybe some more 84s, 5s, and 6s. Again, more demand for 84s and 5s. I do believe last week this made 84s go up. So 84s could be a bit of a cheeky investment today. If you can get on some of these on bid for like 1.2K. Let me take a look at the graph and just double check this. Because last week they did kind of go bananas at one point. It was Tuesday... Tuesday after content and then yeah Tuesday into Wednesday these cards went from 1.2k min price all the way to 2,000 coins I think 84s might be asleep if you're like hey I want to buy some fodder and try to make some coins especially if you're on a lower budget or if you're getting the game for free today try to get 84s at like 1.3k on bid maybe 1.4k max hopefully those go to 2,000 coins and you can make some profit with not one but two guaranteed tots SBCs coming today and tomorrow so that's one thing i did want to mention also the 83.7 is going to refresh today since it refreshes every other day and that's even more demand for 84s 85s and 86s so we could see those cards definitely going up in price today now that i think about it even more with all the sbcs refreshing and the new sbcs we would expect to come out do i expect really anything else today on tuesday not a whole lot we could get another evo there is an evo that is expiring today um to put somebody in it, it is the it's this one, fullback swap. Well, I just put a card in there. Uh, that one is kind of the unlock timer goes away today. So we have not been getting Evos every other day, but that's kind of sort of been a halfway measuring tool. Sometimes we get an Evo every other day. Sometimes we don't. So maybe we get one today. And then we're still looking out for those heroes and those icons potentially uh, from the Bundesliga related clubs, right? Of course, we've had Lam, we've had Mateus. Um, and we have had, is that it? La Mateus. Well, we had Raul, but uh, there could be more ahead, whether it's a hero or an icon. Again, that's one of the things that it says in the menus. Watch out for leaks because we'll get leaks ahead of time for probably any of those SBCs that do get released. And I do also want to talk about a couple things happening on the market and one, our first actually League One team of the season leak. First of all, Man, am I glad that we talked about selling Premier League TOTS cards um, on Friday night or into Saturday. Like, what in the world is this? Cole Palmer, what, bro, was 1.2 million on Friday night. 1.3 million almost. He is 880K. The Prem TOTS cards on the middle of the top tier are getting destroyed, guys. I think it's people that are selling these to open store packs, to go to SBCs and to use the Bundesliga TOTS cards, right? Everybody wants to use the newest and the latest. And this is why TOTS cards during the entirety of team of the season never end up holding their prices really well. Look at this. Hyunmin Sun was 1.4 at his peak. He's 1.15. Foden was 2.3. He's 1.9. Um, VVD is down. Now, some cards are holding their price. Saliba is still doing well. Uh, Salah is down a little bit, but not much. And then the lower tier cards are exploding. So here's another reminder to probably not hold on to cards for super long unless they're low budget and potentially going to be going up. Shaw is 117. That's crazy. Um, Lauren James is down a bunch. Hemp is down a bunch. Tots Mixed League number one. Most of these cards are just holding, right? Hanchko and Dest, maybe up a little bit, not much. Um, yeah, so just be careful with these guys, man. And also Tots Live cards. Look at Bruno Fernandez. Brother is 1.4 million coins after United lost yesterday. He went from 2.2 to 1.4. And sure, this card could bounce back at some point because this is a crazy, crazy card in terms of the stats. But how low is too low? Because I think all of his upgrade, I think he's not getting upgrades anymore. 1.438. Nobody wants to buy this card, man. Wow. So watch this for sure because I haven't used this Bruno, but I used his flashback. And it was insane. Incisive, technical, and finesse. This has to be a card. If we get him at a low price day, we might have to go try him out because 
that's a crazy price for him, even compared to some of the Bundesliga team of the seasons that are out, especially if he's not getting any more upgrades, then it might be chalked for him. Let me just double check real fast on the footbin tracker. Bruno. Oh, they have one. Okay, no. Crystal Palace Man U. No, they do have one more game because the Man U Newcastle one didn't count. So I guess there is still a chance. You're telling me there's a chance if they win one more game, unless this tracker is not correct. Uh, we'll have to double check that. But of course, they did lose to Crystal Palace. If that's their third game, there is a chance for one more win, which could get them to a 95. And they technically could get the goals because, um, yeah, five of eight. So we'll see what happens with that, guys. I don't know if that tracker is updated, but he is down big time because of Manchester United's loss yesterday. And once again, we got to talk about this leak. This is hot off the press. The very first leak of League One team of the season. Very early leak as well. Hakimi is coming as a League One team of the season card soon. That's our first leak. That's a nice leak, to be honest. Hakimi has not had a special card all year long. Some people have been trying to evolve him. Those are definitely predicted stats. This could be a really, really insane right back card, guys. I don't know how expensive he's going to be. His team of the year card a couple years back was like crazy expensive. Remember in FIFA 23, it was? He was way more expensive than everybody expected. The PSG links are obviously very valuable with Mbappe. Um, I know a lot of us have Mukiele. This is going to be a completely different card than Mukiele, right? But that is the first leak of Team of the Season La Liga. Other thing I would mention, sorry, League One, not La Liga. Other thing I would mention as well is continue to be careful watching your League One specials because they continue to go up. Remember the Jonathan David that we shouted last night in the video? A lot of people are going out and buying those type types of cards. If we go ahead and take a look at this Jonathan David card, he is 70K. He was 55K last night. He is not the only card that is happening to. Prices are rising as people are preparing for those cup games ahead this uh i think it would be thursday two days from now thursday when we would have the cup opened up for league one team of the season ahead of time so that's the video for today guys watch out for the game being free let your friends know if that's something that's interesting to them and uh good luck if you're trying to pack a blues because the pack weight yeah it is down bad i'll be honest the pack weight is really chalked i picked up a couple of balotelli's as well well really fast uh for 149 150 with hunters trying to sell them at 180 he has his Balotelli selfie celebration in game. If you take this card and score with it and then run to the end line right behind the goal to the video boards, it actually does a celebration, which is so sick. It's the small things like that that sometimes make this game just a little bit better, right? So I think that's a W from EA. So if you want to go try that card out, make sure you go and do that celebration with him in game. First time maybe I've ever shouted a celebration um, on a YouTube video on this channel. Just being 100% honest. Anyways, guys, that's the video for today. If you did enjoy, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys in the Twitch stream today. That link is down below in the description if you do not follow me over there. I'll see you guys in the stream. It's been Nathan with Account. Have a great Tuesday. Peace out.